Welcome to the 2024 World Crokinole Championship Doubles. We are in the final 12. Teams are competing in their respective pools of six to be in the top two. In this matchup, we have Josh Carfiello and Ron Langell versus Jeremy Tracy and Andrew Hutchinson. Both teams had great success in the preliminary rounds to make it to this spot. And Josh will open up with a 20. Both of these teams are very proficient in their open 20 shots. So we will see who will be the first to draw a mistake. And that will be Langell. Andrew now to go from behind the disc, probably to roll away. Very nice. Hutchinson and Tracy do have hammer, so they are more than content to keep play on the outside. Tracy now to roll a bit further away to not give Ron an in. Looks like he is close enough to that peg to make getting in difficult. Langell just catches that peg. Hutchinson most likely to hit and stick. Carfiello now also sticking. Hoping to give Ron an in. Jeremy unsuccessful in getting the off, but maybe an in here for Langell, not quite. Hutchinson will be going for that far disc and hoping not to give Carfiello a way to mess with that shot. A nice backboard for Tracy there. Carfiello will perhaps be trying to mess with that. Gets the off. Backboard opportunity now for Tracy. Just lips out, but not much for Langell here to work with. Pushing through a bit far. See what Hutchinson opts to do. Hutchinson looks like he's taking out that far disc, leaving the backboard for Tracy again, having trust in his partner to redeem himself on this second shot. Carfiello almost bouncing back to mess with that, but not quite. Not a super easy line for Tracy. It is certainly there. Maybe a double, certainly hoping for the 20. Gets one off. Again, not leaving Langell a lot to work with. <laughs> Langell almost bounced back. Yes. Now a backboard 20 opportunity for Hutchinson. Which he converts with a touch. Very nice shot. Lots of black on the board right now though. Hutchinson and Tracy do have hammer advantage but have a bit of cleanup to do. Tracy opts to get another 20 up. 220 advantage now. Teams down to their final shots. Langell scores at 20. Hutchinson now just needs a takeout and a stay on to win this first round. Which he gets either up by 15 or 10 points. Not sure if that was on the line. Either way, this first round will go to Tracy and Hutchinson. Bring the score to 2-0. to zero. These games are four rounds total. Again, just this little round robin in their pools of six. Five games total to see who will be the top two in each respective pool. Hutchinson, the first to miss. Potentially a touch 20 opportunity here. Not quite getting the off and not leaving Tracy a lot to work with. Carfiel and Langell do have hammer this round. Langell now maybe going for the angle. Not quite just off. Also not leaving Hutchinson. A lot to work with. Bit of a heavy hanger there. Not able to convert. Rolling away. Maybe an angle opportunity here for Carfiello. And he gets it with the off. Very nice pressure on Tracy now for this open 20. 
which he gets. Back to the 20s race now. Advantage to Carfiello and Langell. Tracy and Hutchinson will be hoping for a mistake, which they get. Carfiello coming up short, leaving a backboard opportunity for Tracy, which he converts on. Pressure back on Carfiello and Langell. Langell does not crack under pressure, though, draining that open 20. Hutchinson lipping out again. Very heavy, though, and not leaving a lot for Langell. Will either be pushing for the 20 or rolling away. Very nice follow through there from Carfiello. Tracy evening out the 20s cup. Carfiello and Langell feeling comfortable right now. Hutchinson going long. Tracy talking some smack perhaps. Carviello unaffected gets that touch 20. Up two 20s now in the cup. Tracy will be looking for the bump. Doesn't quite get it. Giving an opportunity for Langell and this round is sealed. This round will be going to Carfiello and Langell. Players taking their final shots. Six. I was waiting to see a Second round goes to Langell and Carfiello, bringing the score to 2-2 in this four-round match. It's very important to note that 20s are critical in these games and in the finals games as 20s could be used as a tiebreaker in the rare chance that teams are tied in points. Hutchinson now rolls away very nice. Maybe an open door here for Carfiello. That angle is there and just misses it, leaving a backboard now for Tracy. <laughs> and the celebration from what I'm sure was a carefully calculated shot from Tracy. Hutchinson, very nice hide with... Carfiello's own disc in the way. Gets he off, but also peels his own disc. Tracy rolls away to the far side of the pegs. <laughs> Again with the celebrating from Tracy, very enthusiastic about that shot. Hutchinson now content to keep play on the outside. Maybe not happy with that. Carfiello having an in. Blasting through the pegs, though, on the far side. Two discs now on the board for Hutchinson and Tracy. Up a 20 with hammer advantage. They will more than likely be comfortable to just keep play on the outside. Loses his own shooter. Not quite what he was hoping for, but again, not the worst. Not an easy in here for Carfiello. Almost got the 20 off the peg there. Tracy will be hoping to capitalize on this, so not quite. Doesn't get the off or the 20. Langell, unfortunately, loses his own disc and the advantage that they nearly got there with two discs on the board. Down to the last three shots. Carfiello. Very careful as to what he does here now. Trying to get in, not quite. Catches a peg and bounces out. These last few shots, Tracy will be trying not to line Langell up for an angle in. Langell, not a lot of options here. Down to the last two shots. Down a 20 without the hammer. Landry will be looking for a way to... Looks like he might be going for a very thin slice here. And he gets it. Rotten Ronnie. Very nice shot. 
Alas, Hutchinson will be hitting and sticking on the outside, giving Langell and Carfiello zero options. Tracy just needs to hit and stick, and they will take this final round. Yes. Sorry, not final round. That was the third round. Score now 4-2 to for Hutchinson and Tracy. One round left in this game. We see that uh, perhaps accidental shot. Tracy will most definitely say otherwise, though. Down to the final round, Hutchinson comes up short, leaving a 20 opportunity for Carfiello, which he drains with the off. Very strong start. Pressure now on Tracy, who does not crack, getting that 20. Back to the 20s races now. If you kept up with the last National Football Association season, you have seen both these teams before. Langell and Carfiello have partnered together, winning the Owen Sound Crokinole Tournament and placing third in the Ontario Doubles Crokinole Championship. Tracy and Hutchinson have also partnered together, making it to the quarterfinal round of the Ontario Doubles and third place for the U.S. Open. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very nice shot from Langell. Great play from both teams here. You can see why they have partnered together many times before. We're back to the 20s race. Carfiello and Langell now up two 20s with the hammer. And that is not the mistake that Tracy was wanting going long. Langell doesn't quite convert on the angle in. Hutchinson also going a little bit long with that follow through. Looks like players are hunting for those 20s. Garfield and Langell could roll away and just get play away from the center. But they, they seem to be hungry. Hungry for more 20s in those cups. Andrew now very thin slice. Almost gets it with the off, but now a backboard for Carfiello, which he converts on. Now up. 320s, Hutchinson and Tracy need to make no mistakes here. There's still mathematically in this. Now they are not so long as Carfiello hits off this final disc. That will wrap up this final round. Langell and Carfiello will take those last two points, bring the score of this game to 4-4. Four to four. Very great work on both players. And stay tuned to see how they do for the remainder of the five matches. Thank you for tuning in to the 2024 World Crokinole Championship doubles and make it a great day.